So I'm Souther Teague. I'm the beverage director and partner here at Amori Margo in the historic East Village of New York City. Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, the bar is called Amori Margo, and now we have what we call a general store at Amori Margo. And then on the inside, we've got uh, Amori Margo Reserve, which means love and bitters. So all my drinks have bitters in them. Uh, Eight time, if you want to join me, let's go in and make some drinks using Laird's Apple Brandy. Uh, come show me around. Yeah. So this is our new expanded retail store where we sell bitters, books, barware, and uh, while the pandemic is on, the restrictions are lifted and I can sell bottles like a liquor store. And we have a whole line of our classic cocktails that are bottled as well. So it's a great stream of revenue for us during this time. The first drink we're gonna make today is called Charred Rose. It's based on the classic cocktail, the Jack Rose. And really the only change I made is I char the lemons for the lemon juice, right? We literally just put them right on the, the grill and get them charred. Get some nice smoky, earthy aroma and flavor. It's gonna be charred lemon juice, grenadine, two ounces of Laird's Apple Jack. Shaken and served up with a lemon twist. Easy. And I've got these charred lemons that I cooked. Get about three quarters of an ounce, which is around half a lemon. I'm using Rose's Grenadine. Just a half an ounce. We'll put some ice and give it a good shake. Look at that color. I'll give it a quick finish with a lemon twist. Express the oil over the top, twist it, and then we can leave it on. Hey Tom, next I'm gonna make you a, a hot drink because it's that time of year, right? So this one we call the Orchard Toddy. It's got uh, Laird's Apple Brandy, uh, Cointreau, which is an orange liqueur, some orange juice, some lemon juice, uh, cinnamon syrup, and then we're gonna float some uh, cold cream on top, a little bit of bitters in it. So it's gonna be like a dichotomy of hot and cold. A heated mug. Apple Brandy. Right into the mug. Cointreau. I've got some cinnamon syrup here. Fresh squeezed lemon juice. Bit of fresh squeezed orange juice as well. Piping hot mulled water. Ice cold cream into a tin with no ice. Adding in a couple of dashes of orange bitters. I'm gonna whip it. This is just to thicken it. You can use your spoon to sort of float the cream on top. A bit of nutmeg. And that is the orchard toddy. Well, we've got a cocktail that I'm calling the pineapple flip, right? Um, so it's gonna use the apple brandy, uh, a, a pineapple liqueur, a pineapple bitters, and a whole egg. Uh, we're gonna shake that up. It's gonna get nice and creamy and rich and frothy. This is kind of like a single serving of eggnog. It's delicious and highly appropriate for the season. This one I call the good square. It's based on the classic view carré, which means beautiful or old square. Laird's apple brandy. Uh, in equal parts with some Monongahela style rye whiskey. A bit of a more bitter sweet vermouth. This one's fun. This is Strega. Strega is a saffron liqueur. It's a quarter of an ounce. And then I'm gonna go in with that Peixot's bitter we, talk, we talked about before. Two dashes, so two dashes is four bounces. One, two, three, four. This ice is great for, for sitting drinks on, but it doesn't melt very quickly, and I need it to melt to get the drink diluted. So we're gonna crack the first piece. Use my spoon and bust it. And then in goes more ice. We take it for a ride. And then we're gonna strain it into a chilled glass. Squeeze those oils over the top. The good square for you, my friend. Uh, so Applejack has been around forever in America, as long as America has been around. In fact, Laird's is one of the oldest distilleries uh, here in America. They're definitely the oldest licensed distillery in America. They've been doing it since the late 1700s. Uh, and then Apple Brandy, uh, so Applejack in this scenario, Laird's, uh, is a blend of Apple Brandy and neutral spirits. Uh, comes in at 80 proof. And then the Apple Brandy is 100% Apple Brandy, uh, rocking out at a 100 proof. So a little bit stronger of a backbone, real floral notes of apple in the product. 
Uh, it's delicious to use uh, in, in craft cocktails as well as just sipping on, you know, especially I think in, at this time of year when it's starting to get cold and you, know, you just want something, a winter warmer. You know, keep some of this in your flask.